Hey guys, uh, do you want to know what just happened to me? It was literally the most infuriating thing. So I just got my new laptop. Um, I'm on the webcam now. And um, I was doing a video. I did a review for the Mix Silk. And um, I had to restart my computer because I was uh, downloading the update to Microsoft Security Essentials. For some reason, it did not recognize my password. I knew what the freaking password was and I had to end up uh, restoring it back to factory state and it didn't feel like doing like a backup for like basically one file so I lost the video so I'm gonna do it again last time I promise um, okay so the mix silk is the mix chicks uh, like knockoff from Sally Beauty Supply it is seven dollars for 17.5 Two five ounces, yes, and that's like ridiculous. And right now it's on sale for five ninety nine. So, like, I mean, it's worth a try. Um, anyway, it smells like I don't even know, like a whole lot of nastiness. It smells like perfumey. Ugh, it makes my throat burn. It like gets in my throat. Um, it smells like perfumey soap. Yeah, I don't like it. I always try to cover it up when I use it, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. People are outside my room yelling. Hmm. Get it together. Um, anyway, so the description says, Silk Elements Mixed Silk Leave-In Conditioning Cream is a non-greasy and is non-greasy and never builds up. Defines, tames, and hydrates natural curls and waves. Use it as a daily detangling, shine enhancing, and nourishing treatment. Manageability and style is restored. I feel like that's to say manageability and style are restored because those are two different things. What say you? Anyway, so the ingredients, um, they're all right. It's like um, the second ingredient is amodimethicone. But besides that, I mean, there's some other funky stuff in here, but it does have some good stuff. Like, uh, like the first six ingredients are water, amodimethicone, weed amino acids, uh, seroclonium chloride, I think that's how you pronounce that, glycerin, and satira alcohol. And then it also has like jojoba seed oil, safflower oil, evening primrose oil, silk amino acids, and some other stuff. So if you look at the texture... And I, I love that it has a pump. I love that. It's awesome. So if you pump it, and the pump, like, you, you close it, like, how you turn it. So here it goes. So it's, like, snotty. You see that? It kind of looks like, um, like a loose ectoplasm type deal thingy. But it looks like that. Definitely looks not. Um, so I've used it a number of ways. I've had it for a few weeks. Um, I wouldn't use it alone because I don't think it's moisturizing enough. And um, I feel like, yeah, I just, I like it better with a leave-in. Or you can use the leave-in on top or like another moisturizer and that'll work better. Uh, today I used it and my hair is a little bit frizzy, but I don't think it was the mixed silk that frizzed it. It was uh, my finisher or what I use to fluff my hair out. You know how like after my hair dries, I always fluff it out to make it bigger. Um, okay, so what I did is I used honey hemp as my leave-in and then I used the mixed silk. And I liked how my hair looked then, but the mixed silk, like it kind of, because it's kind of jelly it doesn't like absorb into my hair right away. So I had like little like a little like white beads on my hair strands, which is fine. I knew they were going to go away in like um, 20 minutes or so, but I didn't really feel like having them. So I used this gel. I'm going to stop playing with my hair. Um, I used this gel that I made like I, I did like a hybrid gel. Like I mixed together a bunch of my favorite gels and because I have layered them before and I like the results, but I didn't like want to use that much product. So I just mixed them together. And it's also a nice way to um, like preserve your products because you're mixing them all together. So that's longer. 
Um, and I, I like threw in some aloe vera gel, which is like super cheap, but that was like over half of the mix. So then it's like, so anyway, whatever. So I applied that and my hair looked, you know, nice. It looked fine. It was, it was a lot flatter than it is now. Like I really like fluffed it out. Um, so I just did that. And then when my hair was about 90% dry, I fluffed it out with some um, Sweet Ambrosia by Karen's, Bo Karen, uh, Karen's Body Beautiful. Yes, I can say it. I promise. And I think that has that's like glycerin based. So I think that is what really attributed to the frizz. Um, it, our dew points were like 55 today. So I mean, it could have been that. It could have been the combination of using the glycerin in this with the Sweet Ambrosia. Um, but, you know, whatever. It was cool. Like, I don't really... I don't mind like a little bit of frizz it's fine so but my hair is really soft the the hold is really soft with the mix silk um i don't think i would you like layer that many products again i would just use it probably with a leave-in on top because i like that for finishing um <clears throat> i used it with the oil and whipped pudding that really worked well um i and you know the whipped pudding is also good for frizz so i put that on top and i also used it with um my shea moisture shea butter moisturizer and i really liked it so my verdict for this product is i think it's a good product i think it's worth trying um i wouldn't use it every day just because i would be afraid of the silicone buildup um but it does the acone can be cleansed with um you don't have to use sulfates and my donna marie has like cocoa beatine i think it is so that will cleanse the comb. So that's fine with me. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I wouldn't, it's not like an everyday product. I wouldn't make it a holy grail. But it's also good that you can like get it on the grounds or, you know, if you're just like, usually you can find a Sally somewhere. So then you can just get it, pick it up and use it like in case like you didn't have your products with you. So I think that's really convenient um, and really important, you know, that we can get products on the ground. Um, and just going into uh, a final review of the Eco Styler Argan Oil, comparing the two um, in terms of feel, I like the mixed silk better. Smell, Eco Styler. Um, ingredients, Eco Styler, just because it doesn't have the cone. Um, definition, like look of hair. It depends on really what you want. Like Eco Styler gives you better definition. But this is like you still get definition, but then there's not the the hold. So I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. I think Eco gives you like better hair for just like looking at it, but I wouldn't want someone to touch my hair while I'm using Eco Styler. Um, they shouldn't be touching my hair anyway. But yeah, I'm just saying. So I mean, my final verdict of the Eco Styler is once again, it's a product that I definitely wouldn't use every day. Um, I feel like it's really, really tacky. And it's really hard to wash out of my hair. And it's it's so thick that I just almost feel like it's like suffocating my hair. Like it forms such a barrier that like the next day, like I always want to wash it out. It's like I don't want to like leave that in my hair. It's like, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, I got six day hair. And I just... I just have this like urge to wash it out every time I use it. So, um... I have two jars of it. Um, I mean, I'll use them, but it's like uh, an every once in a while thing or like I know I'm just going to like run to the store real quick. I don't feel like using, you know, like $30 gel to be out of my house for 15 minutes, but I'm still going to do my hair because I always do my hair. Um, but yeah, that's really all. I definitely would give this a try. It's and you might like the smell. Who knows? Uh, it's only, you know, it's not, like I said, it's on sale right now for $5.99. So you get a lot of product with it. And, you know, it's not that bad. Sometimes I feel like cones will give me more frizz, but this actually didn't. So that's good. And it held down my frizz, unlike mixed chicks, which my problem with mixed chicks, I thought mixed chicks was more moisturizing, but it it like didn't absorb into my hair basically at all. I think this might be a little bit heavier than mixed chicks. And um, I just like, my hair was just frizzy. But with this, like it actually took 
the frizz down even by itself. So that's always nice um, to have like a product that'll do that. So yeah, just give it a try. It's fairly cheap. Um, you can give the eco a try too. If unless you if you already have an eco that you like, I wouldn't get all gung ho about the argan oil. Like the argan oil is probably like one drop in it. Um, I did think it distributed better, but it still dried fairly hard. So I just yeah. If you already have your staple eco, just stick with that. Um, but yeah, that's really all I had to say. And also, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone once again for watching that uh, Naturally Curly Vlogger Surge like entry video, commenting on the lovely comments that were left on my page, um, rating it and everything. Today I did find out that um, I was one of the vloggers that they selected, which is awesome because I love Naturally Curly. So... I look forward to, you know, doing reviews for them and uh, doing anything, you know, they want me to, like, early testing products. So, you know, that's cool. So just thank you so much, guys, for, you know, all your support and listening to me babble on, especially when I start, like, my videos out with, like, some random rant on my computer, which is, I think, better now, by the way. Also, with the new webcam, um, I think the quality is a bit better than it was my old computer, which is like three years old. Um, but if it sucks, like totally leave a comment and say, oh, this sucks, never use this webcam again. Obviously my uh, Canon is still my main camera, but I just like to use the webcam sometimes. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will talk to you guys later on and it's still giving me like updates for my computer it's like i see you like don't you hate that when you have like a new computer and it's like oh wait about these 50 updates um so yeah why are you oh god so annoying sorry all right but anyways um i'm gonna handle this with my computer so i will talk to you all later okay